Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Daniel cell. Uh, a Daniel cell is a type of galvanic cell and you will see that you will have um, electricity if you do it right. I won't explain the chemics behind it but just how to make it because it's really simple. So you start out with two cups with water uh, and the first thing you do is you put a little bit of uh, zinc sulfate as we have here from this jar. We do it in the first jar and you stir it up. Try to have equal amounts of zinc sulfate and copper sulfate because I don't know the exact quantities. So as you can see on this, um, this picture we have the zinc sulfate, which is this one, the copper sulfate, which is this one, um, and now uh, to close your circuit, uh, first you have to put a zinc electrode in a zinc sulfate um, jar. So just take a piece of zinc and put it in. Take a bit of copper and put it in the other one. Has to be seen here. Um, now we have to connect both the copper and zinc electrodes to the um, voltmeter to have a closed circuit. So we want to measure the voltage, so make sure to put it in this hole and this hole. Put it on. Um, use these crocodile teeth. Uh, and now for the tricky part of the experiment, um, that's to make the salt bridge. Um, often that's where the failure comes along. So what will I do? I will take a piece of cardboard, just regular cardboard. I will mix it up with water in this jar and a bit of natrium chloride, so which essentially is salt for in the kitchen. So when it becomes wet, you will have um, a better, um, a lower resistance for electricity, and you can also add some natrium uh, chloride. Make sure it isn't too wet because you can mix up the chemicals and just put it in on each side in each jar. Make sure it touches the solutions and now. If everything was right, we should have electricity. <laughs> 